going back to the theme of vessels and women being vessels, women's self-worth is invested in them being a vessel for men. They know just being a woman and having a womb and being that vessel there, they have some worth. But who sets that value? You know, her job, her education doesn't set her value as a woman. It sets her value as a utility as a person, but not as a woman. It takes another man or other men to set her value as a woman, as a vessel. So with that being said, women are sellers and men are buyers. The sellers do not set the price of their product. The buyers do. The buyers always set the market. So men set the value of a woman, a particular woman. We even have a scale, one through 10. You notice that men don't have a scale one through 10, women do. That number represents her value in the eyes of the men in her area. So just like a stock market, women are constantly trying to figure out what their value is at any given time. You notice when a young girl comes into her, her womanhood or close to her womanhood, puberty, the first thing she wants to do is put on something skimpy and go out and see what kind of attention she can attract because that attention or the amount of attention and the quality of attention is what sets her value of her self-worth. A woman who's good looking, a 10, if you will, has a more or a better perceived value than somebody, a woman that is what, a, a five or a six. Men are the buyers. They set the value of her worth because she's a vessel. And it's in, according to what men like and what men need or men see value in. So let's dip further into this. What are the qualities that men see value in women and why? To illustrate our point, we're going to use TFM's sexual market value chart. You can see he has categories for men and women. And you notice that the list of characteristics that are desirable are different in the order and importance and also the different traits that are desirable between men and women. But for this discussion, we're only going to focus on the women. Now, TFM's list for the women in order of importance is beauty, youth, virtue, and personality. Now, he gives the obvious in what we call in uh, esoteric philosophy, the mundane reasons that men find these characteristics and categories important, like beauty is obvious is because that's what we are biologically attracted to the way she looks her breast her hip size the length of her legs the, the length of her hair the color of her eyes that kind of thing with youth he says it's tied to her reproductive capacity naturally the younger she is the more able and more capable she is of producing offspring Virtue is obviously her chastity and her loyalty and faithfulness to the man that she's involved in. And the, and the last is personality. Men like a good, cheerful, accommodating woman that's pleasant to come home to, that's not too aggressive, and is very cooperative. So we're going to give this list a little twist. We're going to give it an esoteric twist. We're going to look at the same categories, but we're going to look at them from the view that a woman is a vessel. So when you look at a vessel or any vessel, what do you what's the first thing that you look at when you want to shape any raw material into a vessel? You give it the eye test, what it looks like. If it's gold, you want it to be shiny and pure. If it's wood, you look at the 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 color of the wood, the texture of the wood, that kind of thing. What the eye test tells you is the quality of the material that you're using. The same thing with a woman. Her beauty gives you an insight to the quality of the material of her as a vessel. You know, if she's beautiful and she has shape, she has good genes and good genetics. Beauty also indicates her level of fitness. You know, if she's not fat, or flabby and she's fit that means she takes care of herself that means she's healthy if her hair and her clothes are clean neat and well kept that's also an indication her outward appearance is a telltale sign 
of what's inside. Youth or age is an indication of the pliability or even the previous use of a material. The newer the material is or the fresher the material is, the more pliable it is, the more likely it is to conform with greater ease. So the newer the material, the more pliable it is, the better it will adapt to the light or the shape that you're trying to make it conform to. And it's a lot less likely to break or change under stress. What did it say in uh, the Christian Bible? What Jesus said, you cannot put new wine in old wineskins. If you want a new agenda, it's better to have new wineskins that's especially adapted to the contents that you're putting in it. The same goes for having a younger woman. Her ideas about the world are probably less formed, so she's less set in her ways. So she's a lot more adaptable. Now, sometimes that can be a plus or a minus depending on what you want. But the thing is, you don't want a woman that's too old to be pliable and flexible to what you want or the lifestyle that you want to lead. She has her pet peeves and the things that she doesn't like that's more ingrained and less mutable. Whereas a younger woman would be more adaptable and more pliable to your personality. If she's really too old and she's had a lot of experiences, then she carries a lot of baggage that you or may not you may not be able to unload. Now, this goes along with the next category, which is virtue. Now, virtue deals with a vessel is the purity of the material in making anything out of a raw material. If the material is not pure. If it has impurities or adult adulterated substances inside the material that makes the integrity of the vessel that you're trying to shape harder to make, uh, less, less reliable, less pliable and less sure. This is probably the most difficult category in the modern woman today, trying to find a virtuous woman with all the distractions, with all the influences and all the availability of social interactions. I would dare say it's um, it's impossible in the West to find a virtuous woman, even if she's a virgin and she's never had sex. The influence of the modern media and our very permissive society taints even the most pure and virtuous sample of women that we can find. She's already going to come with preconditioned ideas about relationships and men and sex and given our sexual permissive society find a woman past her mid 20s that's a virgin it is like finding the unicorn or that nawalt little girls are taught from puberty to be sexually open and sexually free so virtue is not a noble pursuit by women anymore and the last one is personality Now, with a vessel, personality is known as characteristics and the characteristics of the material that you're going to make a vessel out of is a combination of the first three things that we just mentioned. The quality of material, the age of the material and the purity of the material all have the influence to make up the individual characteristics of the vessel. It's the same thing with a woman. The way she takes care of her beauty, her age and her virtue or her purity is an indicator of what her personality is inside. Because of those three things or those three outward indicators or a peek inside to what her real personality is, how she's looked at in society has an influence on her psyche. Her age in the society has influence on her personality and also her purity. Her virtues, what her core beliefs are about herself inside or what make up her her core personality, who she really is. A woman's psyche is tied up into her identity as being a vessel. If you look at what most women are interested in, no matter what their age, it's hair, makeup, nails, clothes, shoes, all those things that are tied to being a vessel, even feminists that claim that it's not 
say that the biggest concern that young women have are body issues, what they look like, how they appear, not only to the opposite success, opposite sex, but to other women and where they rank in the pecking order of how they look. So no matter how much money a woman makes or how successful she is as a utility, her value is still based on her value as a vessel. Her self-esteem and her self-worth is still based on her value as a vessel. Let's take a case in point. Oprah Winfrey, by all external measurements, is a success. If she was a man, by all standards, she would be an alpha male. She'd be at the top of the heap. Built her business from scratch, numerous awards and accolades, worth $3 billion, runs a media empire second to none. Talk show, movies, two television networks. If she was a man, she'd be the cock of the walk, no matter how she looked. But as a woman, Oprah suffers with body issues, the same thing a poor woman would. She has self-esteem problems, as she has pointed to in the past. Look at the topics that she brings up. And it's not just because her audience is women. It's because something that she struggles with. She gravitates to people that talk about relationships, how men and women relate to each other and the problems that they go through. Even her refusal to marry the partner she's had for the last 20 years even though i applaud her for not doing so her biggest fear is internally she feels that her value is less than his even though she's had way more success way more fame and a boatload more money if you look at the magazine which is a success you know if you look at all metrics what do you see on the cover? You don't see other people or other things. You see her in all the outfits and makeup and hairstyles like she's a supermodel because inside that's the essence that she wants to portray. That is what she wants to be. Her value as a vessel to her is even more important than the billions and billions of dollars and the tons of success that she's already had. So even though by a metric as a provider she's in a stratosphere and she would be a 10 in her mind she's only a four and she's only a four to most men so even if she doubles her wealth and she's worth six billion dollars she'll never be that alpha female she'll never be that 10 she'll always still be a four in most men's eyes because that's the value that men see her as